Hello everybody. Today I want to show you my conveyor belt which uses droppers to transport items. And I have it hooked up to a sorter. And let me run it. Right now I have seven wool. I'll put it in a chest. And I hooked it up to a dispenser so you can see when it gets there. One, two. Okay, that's blue. Let's try and yellow, red, and the pearls. Yellow. Red. And the pearls should be coming up in a little bit. And inner pearls. As you can see, the system is reliable. So let me show you how it works. Okay, let me show you the concept. When a dropper is facing another dropper, it's gonna transfer the items over. So right now, this dropper is empty. This dropper has redstone. So let's power this dropper. See, it transferred the item over. Now, when this block is powered, it's actually going to power the block right next to it. So it's going to dispense one and send one. Dispense and send one. So as you can see, when this block is powered, it's going to power the next block over, but it isn't going to power this block. There's only one. And again, so in order to make this move over to the next one, you have to provide power to this block, which will also power this block. So if the unique thing about droppers is that you can actually put redstone and repeaters on top of them, like a normal block. So when you power this block, it's going to send a signal to this repeater, which will also power the black block left the block right next to it and that's gonna create a conveyor belt effect and that's basically how it's gonna work okay this is the same type of sorter I have set up over here but this one is using an hop a hopper conveyor belt and you're probably asking why don't you just use this instead but some of you probably know that this doesn't work 100% of the time with this type of sorter. So let me show you. I have seven wool. And my system right here is set up for wool. So if I send it into the conveyor belt, there's no item. It's just going to pass right through into this chest. Now, it does work for some of them, like bones right here. I'm going to send it through. Any second now. Thank you, Rain. Well, it was working and now it doesn't work. Let's try something else. Uh, black, uh, gray wool, excuse me. There we go. And this was working earlier, but now it doesn't work. So this is really finicky. That's why I don't use it. I want to use it because it's simple and easy, but it doesn't work 100% of the time. So now that you know how this conveyor belt works, there's a lot of things that you can do with it, like um, selecting where you want your items to go. For example, um, this these hoppers are powered right now so they're not going to accept items but when I turn it off turn off yellow it's able to accept items so let me turn on this clock and inside this redstone and it's going to start dispensing from yellow turn this off 
and now it's going to travel to the end. Now let's do white. And now it's going to go off white. So you can come up with a lot of things for the circuit system. Um, let me show you something else that you can do. Or whatever. So you don't need to do this, but I just set up a clock right here. So let's turn it on. And now there's going to be a signal here, and it's going to ignore, ignore these signals. So let's say I wanted to put in some arrows. You can go up any of these um, droppers before arrows, drop it in, and it's going to sort into the arrows. So these are just some of the things you can do. Let me turn this off. Okay, before I forget, this um, item sorter um, was designed by Minecraft with Dummies. So go check out his channel. Um, the way I have this set up is with this clock and it's going to activate only when there's items inside this dropper. So let me put some items in there and activate this clock. So you don't have to use this design but this is just the one I like to use. And some of the obvious disadvantages of this system is that it does use a lot of repeaters and droppers. So it's a little bit resource intensive. Also it lags your computer quite a bit because if you think about it, you have repeaters firing and for about every repeater that's going off, you have two hoppers or more that are also firing. So it's getting a little bit laggy. But you can just put your items in and just walk away. It's not going to break or anything like that. I've um, tested out the system um, and let it run for about an hour on my computer and it actually had 100%. So I think that's pretty impressive. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And I'm really interested in um, some of the things you guys might come up with by using this conveyor belt system. And I hope you enjoyed.